Hey guys, a little bit 22 on PSN here. Today I have the Hitman 2 Collector's Edition. This is actually a second recording that I'm attempting. On the very first recording I had very poor lighting and I realized that after trying to review the footage that you guys couldn't really see anything so I moved my light so hopefully that helps. But here is what it looks like before you actually open it. The only difference is it, this was covered in a plastic type of wrap, like saran wrap, that I had already taken off. But I'm basically going to be unboxing it like it's the first time for me. So on the back it tells you everything that's in it. And I'm going to go ahead and open it to go ahead and show you guys what's inside. Now this is just a plastic covering over it to show you what's inside of it without actually opening it. And there are these tabs right here that make it easy to take it on and off right there. And then so this is the base of the suitcase. And this is the top of the suitcase. And let me go ahead and lay this down and open it up for you guys. what the briefcase looks like when you open it. So immediately you can see that there's the rubber duck, a keychain with the, in the shape of a bullet that says Hitman engraved on it, a coin, and the Hitman gold edition of this thing. So I'm going to go ahead and take everything out one at a time for you guys. So here's the rubber duck. It says Hitman 2 on the front. It has the red tie. And it even has a barcode on the back of his head. It is a working rubber duck. And I believe it's meant to be a replica of the rubber duck that you can use as a remote explosive in the game. Next we have a that's some really roughed up keys. I'm not quite sure what's going on if I'm gonna have to see other collector's editions, but these are some keys attached to this keychain and the keys are really scratched up and rough on around like all on the surface. So I'm not sure they're supposed to be like that. But here's the bullet. And it says Hitman 2. Oh, probably help if I had the words right side up. So, yeah, it says Hitman 2 on the bullet, which is nice. It has it on two sides. So, and I don't know what's up with those keys, so they don't feel very nice at all. And here's the coin from the game. If you play the game, then you know you throw a coin a lot as a distraction technique to lure your targets or others around you somewhere else so that you can take care of them in order which way you desire and I'm not going to attempt to read that but that's one of the phrases in Hitman that you'll see 
quite often. And this is a heavy duty coin. It's it's metal, so it's not like made out of cheap plastic or anything like that. And so the other thing you'll see right away is the game, a gold edition version of the game. Now, the game is actually in my PlayStation right now installing. So the game was in this um, before I already opened it and put it in my PS4. But with the gold edition, you get the expansion packs and let's see what you get with it oh you get the you ex so i guess when they come out with the first and the second expansion you'll get that and you get an executive pack which i guess comes with the briefcase and a silenced handgun and then when you remove this game from here you'll see that You'll have a DLC code for the Collector's Edition DLC, and that's for a Midnight Black Suit, very nice, and the Concussive Rubber Duck. So it's basically, from what it sounds like, it's a rubber duck that you can detonate to make somebody near it unconscious but not actually be fatal and kill them. And then underneath the gold edition that actually had the disc of the game is the steel case for the game. And this is a very nice steel case. And then when you open it, you'll actually see the rest of Agent 47, which is very nice. And here is the inside of the steel case. So there was no disc actually in this one. This is just as a collectible item. So you actually get two cases for your game when you get this collector's edition. I much have rather preferred a model of the silver ballers that Hitman is always using like a model of this handgun or his silver ballers but they probably would have gotten in trouble for doing something like that but I greatly appreciate how this time the collector's edition actually has a physical disc for the game unlike the first Hitman collector's edition and just so you guys can see these are the two DLCs. The one on top is the one that comes with the gold edition of the game, and the one on the bottom is the code that you get that comes with the collector's edition, so the suitcase. So there's one more thing I wanted to add. This briefcase is actually very sturdy. It's a nice hard plastic and the clips that keep it shut are made out of actual metallic material so it doesn't feel cheaply made at all. So the collector's edition is $150 and if you buy the game alone it's $60. So if you think about it, everything else except for just the game, so the steel case, the briefcase, the keychain, the rubber duck, and the coin, all of that you're paying for with an additional $90. So it's up to you if all of this in the briefcase is worth an extra $90. But it is a very sturdy, hard plastic case with metal edges and the the clips right here are metal too. The latches. So it's up to you. But I greatly like this collector's edition. And again, appreciate that the game is actually in here on a physical disc and not just a code to download the game. But that's it for this video. 
thank you guys for watching. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. And I will see you next time. Have a good one.